Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Honey, I Joined a Cult. As always, Tooth McScrubbers, our chief dentist, is willing and more than welcoming for everyone that wants to join our beautiful, our fantastic, our ever-growing cult. Did I say cult? Sorry. I meant the Fellowship of Friendly Floss. We're just a bunch of dentists that want to make sure you have the best experience possible while you're here at our compound. If you haven't toured our compound, let me show you all the great and wonderful rooms we have. Over here, we have our meditation studio where you can listen to beautiful music. Up here in the spirit chamber, if there's anyone you want to contact from the afterlife, please let us help you do that. And above that is the electric spa. Allow us, using electricity, to calm you and relax. Over here is the dental office where you can hear the great words of Asclepius given to you by our wonderful dentist and the head dentist, Tooth McScrubbers himself. Now, in the last episode, which should be popping up on your screen right now, up in the right-hand corner, if you haven't joined us, we ended with someone leaving a nice poop in the hallway, and we're going to be dealing with that in a little bit. Everyone's sleeping right now. It's 2 o'clock in the morning on day number 10. So we'll wake up, we'll clean that up, and we'll get going. Welcome our 17 followers to our wonderful compound. We are getting ready to recruit two more of our followers. We've got space for two more dentists. Uh, in this episode, I think we're going to go ahead and finish researching the kitchen. And let me scroll over here. Yeah, we're researching the kitchen right now. So we will get that unlocked. And then I think our next thing we can research is the leader's sanctum. And I'd like to build both of those rooms today for you guys. The leader's sanctum will unlock the divine inspirations we receive from Asclepius, uh, but that is locked right now, as you can see, because we do not have that room built. The plan, or my plan is, we're going to move our maintenance room probably over here, and this will become the kitchen. And then we will build the divine sanctum. I'm thinking maybe up here or over here. I don't know, over here, we, there's plenty of places for us to build it. That's not the important thing. The important thing is everyone is coming together here at the Fellowship of Friendly Floss and becoming the best dentist they can be. As always, you guys are free to join. Make sure you comment on down below if you would like to join the Fellowship of Friendly Floss. Let us know what you like about our little, little group here, our ragtag group, and why you want to join and why you want to help us grow. Over here, we got someone that's getting ready to level up. Who is that? That is Bella Allen. Let's go ahead and level her up. And I believe she is our maintenance tech. Yep, so we will go ahead and level up improv. And we will level up planning there. So she is ready to go. She will continue to do our maintenance for us. Looks like we have a mission ready. It's a PR campaign mission. Uh, participate in Animal Funny Do segment about eating only pebbles at the TV station. Okay, what lucky dentist will get to go do that for us? I'm thinking Amy Leaf, as always, our high-quality dentist, will go off and start that for us with the 100% chance of success there. Looks like the kitchen is getting ready to be completed, so let's go ahead and lay down the foundation for our maintenance room, and we'll drop that right there. We'll make it a nice um, 10 by 8 room. That sounds pretty good. Plenty big. There are several upgrades we will be able to get for that. Oops, we need to put a door in. That will help our people greatly. Um, actually, we might subdivide this eventually. We might make this maintenance and recruitment, maybe? Because recruitment, eventually, they're going to want to go out here and recruit people. So we need that relatively close to the front door. Or we could subdivide this and maybe put recruitment there. Or maybe we might, you know what, we'll move research. No need for research to be up front. We can move research to some random corner of our compound at the Fellowship of the Friendly Floss. Yep, thank you for researching the kitchen. Let's go ahead and start the leader's sanctum. Close that out. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna go rooms. Let's just pause the game for a second. And we need to move our maintenance room over here, except I cannot find it. Maintenance room, here we go. All right, so eventually this will probably be downsized, but that's okay. Let's go objects here, and we're just going to go ahead and move our objects. We will drop the tool cart there. 
We'll pick up the, there we go. The cleaning cart and we're gonna drop that there. And then let's go ahead and grab the table and we'll drop the table, we'll rotate the table. And let's, oops, I had it the right way. Drop that right there, fantastic. So then we can go ahead and unassign this and turn this into our kitchen. Let's see, kitchen, kitchen, who's got the kitchen? There it is. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and assign that to be our kitchen, fantastic. And we go to objects and filter objects. Let's go ahead and select the kitchen. Bada bing. All right, a refrigerator to keep everything nice and cold. A sink for them to wash their hands. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We know that ain't gonna happen. Put an oven here, and then we'll put a worktop right there. And our kitchen should be ready to go. And we'll close out of that screen. So, the kitchen is able to create gruel, burgers, and meats and vegetables. Obviously, as you go up, they have different bonuses. So as you can see here, gruel has 75% station only has a negative two mood boost compared to the negative four they're getting out of vending machines. Takes about 20 minutes to eat, very low difficulty for cooking, and it looks like ground up roadkill. Now eventually we'll be able to, like I said, get burgers and meats and vegetables for our dentist, but that will be down the road. This mission's done, let's just bring her back. Great, thank you. Got some PR, close all that out. Let's go ahead and read the pop-up on the kitchen. You can now build the kitchen. Before preparing meals, you need to first purchase ingredients. This can be done via the order tab in the kitchen room menu. After purchasing ingredients, you can start cooking meals in the prepared tab to cook up some fancy new meals for our dentist that will not only satisfy their hunger for longer, but will improve their mood. All right, so like he was saying, we go to order here, and since we can only start with gruel, let's just go ahead and order the max. $500 for 10 or excuse me, 100 units of gruel. So we'll go ahead and order that. Now, there is a chance they fail while cooking the gruel. So we, you know, just because we ordered 100 doesn't necessarily mean that we'll get 100 units back. All right, Hannah is leveling up and she is going to get retail and empathy. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and close that screen out. Looks like someone else is ready to label up. Ah, Amy. Fantastic, a little empathy and retail for you as well. All right, so now our cook, or yeah, our cook, who did we assign to being that? Um, let's see, kitchen. We didn't assign anyone, but I feel like there was someone we were leveling up to be cook. Let's see here, what were the cook skills? Butchery, ah, Charlotte, you were going to be our cook. Let me go ahead and assign you as a cook, fantastic. So she will, in her free time, or working time, excuse me, start to go into the kitchen and turn or create that gruel for us because she is just such a great person. Eventually, like I said, we'll be able to unlock burgers, which I don't think we're that far off from burgers. Let's just check here. Um, yeah, burgers are right there. So we only have to do uh, the object acquisition mission research and then we could do burgers, but that's for another time. All right, Tooth McScrubbers is giving the sermon. Shush. Tasted like onions. Praise. I I guess that's a sermon. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to ask questions. Just here going for the ride. All right. So I think eventually, like I said, probably going to move research to over here. Just split this room in half and then move research there and then put the recruiting office there. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do that now. All right. So we're going to go down here, brick wall, and we'll go do, do, do like that. And then get ourselves another door, plop that door there, fantastic. And then we're gonna go to rooms, and then research office, where's research office? That, all right, so we're gonna mark that as research office. And then we need to go to objects, floor, where's floor at, there it is. All right, we're gonna correct, cl eh, click the correct floor option and put that all there. And then let's go ahead and move our research office over here while everyone's asleep. So let's bring this there. And then the supercomputer can come over as well. Drop that there. Got some filing cabinets we threw in here. Got a, quite a few items to move. Go ahead and pause this so no one messes with, messes with this stuff while we move it. 
drop that there. And what's the last thing? We got the lamp and a potted plant to bring over. Boom. And boom. All right, nice. So there's our new research office or excuse me, moved research office. So we can put a recruitment office right in here. Great. Now let's go ahead and outfit our recruitment office. And recruitment office. So we need a filing, filling trolley. Each recruitment desk needs a filing trolley with a whiteboard to present in the room to function. All right, so we'll drop one there. Put a whiteboard there and we are now, ooh, $41. So we'll have to wait till we make a little bit of money, $800. So we can put the recruitment office desk down, but that's okay. We should get that money here shortly as all of our wonderful followers, ooh, we're up to 18, come back in and join our dentist here. Got some research done. So the divine, um, or leader sanctum, excuse me, is now unlocked. Let us go ahead and start researching. I guess the mood boost, yeah, we'll just do that. So that's out of the way and then we can move on completely to this next level here. All right, we are at 650 bucks, 700 bucks, $762. Got our recruitment office desk. Let's drop that right there. All right, so our recruitment office is set up and ready to go. So we need to go ahead, and I think we started training someone with speech. So let's see if we can find that dentist. Okay, so you've been assigned, you've been assigned, you've been assigned. Ed, did we train you for anything? Public speaking, but he's got negative improv um, and retail. Yeah, that's our recruitment guy. All right, Ed, so let's go ahead and assign you as our recruiter. Fantastic. Uh-oh, what happened? Um, looks like someone got hurt. That's okay. We'll take care of that. Now, as we continue to expand the Fellowship of Friendly Floss, because we got two more people. Did someone just soil themselves again? <sighs> These people. Anyways, as we continue to expand our group, I would like to do some shift um, shifts, if you will. Uh, so instead of having everyone go to lunch from noon to one or whatever we have it set up, stagger that a little bit so we can always have money and influence coming in and we're not just sitting around and standing. All right, so we got a follower getting close to leave. Follower happiness is very low. When a follower has grown bored of all the available therapy rooms, it is not long before they get fed up and leave, so make sure they have plenty of things to do. Followers come and go, it's just part of life in a cult. They won't stay forever, but we should make as much use of them, excuse me, as we can before they leave. We should recruit the best ones as dentists. Agreed, agreed. Let's see, Amy was injured. Now let's go ahead and read the leader sanctum. You can now build the leader sanctum. Whispers from the void guide me along the path of enlightenment and discovery. We shall be blessed with divine inspiration as our efforts are observed by our demonic overlords from behind the cosmic curtains. Spooky. Research new rooms, gain access to new missions, and follow the path of darkness. Who knows what we will discover? Hmm. All right, so we got quite a bit of things going on here. So his mood's rebounding. That's good. Why is it? down very poor small portions uh dirty hands soiled pants should have went to the bathroom my friend so i'm just gonna go ahead and send him there now there we go all right he should go use the bathroom um apparently he's not going to i would like for you to go use the shower friend all right go fine don't listen to my orders you have a mood break you do you man all right so let's go ahead and recruit two followers since we got Plenty to recruit from. Um, Amy Freeney, you shall hopefully join our ranks as a new dentist. And then let's go to Ra Bob Robinson and recruit you too. Perfect. All right, so that means we now need to go ahead and build two more beds really quick here. So let's go to bedroom and we're just gonna plunk down two new mattresses and two boxes right there. So now we have Plenty of room for everyone. All right, follower ain't coming back. A follower just left the compound for good. They say all press is good press, but when it comes to angry followers parting ways after spending considerable amounts of money, it's safe to say there will be nothing good to say about us. Followers that leave the Fellowship of Friendly Floss will generate heat. Be careful how much, how much heat you generate. We do not want to attract too much unwanted attention. Again, they're talking about 
uh, police and the media, or excuse me, police and protesters coming. So let's go ahead and upgrade Ed here. Ed, you need to bump up your public speaking and retail. So we'll go ahead and do that for you. Research is done into mood boost ability. So what do we want to research next? We could increase influence cap, the bathroom. We need that. We need to get the better sinks and showers and toilets. All right, so let's read the mood boost unlocked. You can now boost a dentist's mood. Life in the compound can be tough. Sometimes it helps to compliment to get a compliment from the chief dentist. If someone is particularly struggling, I can give them a quick pep talk, get them back on track. This comes at a cost. I'm a leader, not a therapist, and I lose some influence for being too soft on our dentist. Mm. And what do we have over here on mood breaks? One of your dentists is experiencing a mood break. This occurs when the mood gets too low. During a mood break, dentists will act irrationally, wandering the streets, breaking objects, and even sometimes attacking other dentists. Make sure you look after their needs and they will stay happy and cooperative. Agreed, agreed. All right, so we recruited the two new dentists. Uh, the leader's sanctum I know is pretty expensive. Um, not enough pews for all day. Ooh, we need to add some pews. Okay, so let's do that as someone soils themselves and they still haven't fixed this. That's uh, a little annoying. So let's go ahead and go to the, where is that? Uh, the dental office here. Let's just drop down some new pews for the future. Drop that there, we'll drop that there. All right, so now we should have ample pews even if they haven't been fixed. Still got four grand. Someone really screwed up there. Um, some mood breaks coming up. So we got 38 gruel, that's good, and two broken objects. So hopefully our maintenance person can get off their tuchus and fix those objects. So it's that, or four broken objects. The pew, it looks like a sink, and two of the buckets. But this bathroom here will be expanding soon and improving with better showers, better sinks, and better toilets, actual toilets, not just buckets. All right, so we are day 12, it's three in the morning. Let's check out the mission we got here. We got a PR mission we can do. Uh, we might send Amy, I'm guessing she's gonna be our best bet, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll wait here till she wakes up, but we'll send her when they are getting ready for the day. Okay, up oh, there they go. So we can go ahead and wake, or send her. Let's go to the mission here. Begin mission, so she should travel and do that for us as everyone um, defecates all over the place, apparently. All right, who is our, it's Bella, right? Yeah, Bella, we're gonna have to do a little manual control of you and make sure you're cleaning this place up. Uh, she has to go shower first, she's, yeah, you go do your job and then we're gonna be sending you to a couple different places so we can clean up this because you have not been doing the greatest jobs. All right, let's start by repairing the pew, my friend. Get that fixed for us. Great, come over here, get that puddle of urine. Puddle of urine here. Do not want that in the entrance hall. Man, they are just farting up a storm. Yep, let's get all that cleaned up. Great, and then let's get you in here to repair all of that. And ooh, there's a piece of dookie over there. All right, so we need to get this cleaned up and fixed up and then we'll get that dookie. I think that's everything. Yep, okay, she's made all the repairs. She's coming over here and getting that. That should get us to a pretty clean state. Fantastic, some people are injured, but they will heal just fine. Mission's done, let's bring Amy home. Get all that, perfect. All right, let's go ahead and read quality increase poor. Things are improving. Our PR rating has increased enough to allow us to attract poor quality followers. Previously, we could only get attract very poor. These can be recruited as dentists. Once we've reached our dentist cap, we might want to get rid of some of the lower quality dentists to make way for better quality ones. It's up to who you keep and who you get rid of. All right, so eventually we'll do that. Start upgrading our overall quality of candidates in our Fellowship of Friendly Floss. See, we got six grand or just about six grand. Let's just see how expensive it would be to build the leader sanctum. 500, so we need about two grand plus the building of the room, I'm thinking, I don't know how I want to do this. The one thing I wish this game had would be, and maybe I haven't seen it yet, is this kind of a plan feature. So what I want to do potentially is, I think, 
I want to expand the bathroom up this way. I know we keep di talking different plans. Probably expand the bathroom up this way a little bit. Start building individual bedrooms along here and here. Hallway, more bedrooms over here. And then probably put um, tooth mix scrubbers, divine sanctum here, and then maybe the bedroom next to it. I'm not sure how exactly I want to do that. Just decisions, decisions, decisions. So many to make. All right, uh, let's see. Charlotte's ready to upgrade here. So we're gonna give her empathy and retail, even though I want to undo that. All right, let's give her improv and butchery, because she's our cook. I don't know why she's over here. I guess there's no food to cook. That's all right. I think the bathroom upgrade is done. Fantastic, we will take that. And then let's go ahead and work on the bedroom upgrade so we can do that as well. All right, we got plenty of influence for tonight's sermon. So while they are doing that, let's go ahead and work on the bathroom here. We'll expand the foundation. All right, so let's go up here. Yeah, that's gonna be a plenty big bathroom. And then we're gonna to go to rooms, bathroom, expand that there. And then we're gonna to go to objects, select bathroom. Let these guys finish here really quick. All right, they're gonna go through their cycle. Then once I go to the sermon, what we'll do is rip all this stuff out. As you can see, we now have a standard shower. We've got a standard sink and a standard toilet. They are kind of expensive. Um, so we'll have to kind of watch that, but that will improve the overall quality of the bathroom and hopefully make it more likely that our dentist will wash their hands and get better hygiene. All right, so they're all over there. So let's just pause it really quick. Go ahead and delete out all of this stuff because we don't need that anymore. All right, so let's start with some sinks. Spin this around. So we've got 9,000. So we'll do three sinks and then let's start with um, four showers there and then four toilets there. So that's four, four, and then let's do, we'll do a sink here, a sink there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, four, four. So maybe we do another sh shower, and then let's also do another toilet here. Rotate that there, okay. So that looks a little bit better, and we could always maybe put you know, a row of showers or a row of toilets in here as we continue to expand this bathroom. But that looks pretty good. That's a lot better than what we used to have. I'm happy with that. All right, let's see. Sermon, we got four grand of money, some faith, influence, PR, some heat. That's okay. And we're maxed out on our followers and dentists. All right, so they're going to head off to bed. Fantastic. That is great. Well, we're coming up on the start of day 13. We did a little expanding, not as much as I thought we would. I wanted to build the sanctum, uh, but we'll get to that in the next episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode so far, don't forget to like the video. Comment on down below on anything or everything related to Honey, I Joined a Cult. Or if you want to tell me how bad of a job I'm doing, please feel free to tell me how bad of a job I'm doing. Always looking for feedback on audio quality, video quality, commentary quality. Anything that you can tell me to improve these videos, I would love to hear it. I got pretty thick skin, so don't feel like you're going to hurt my feelings. And lastly, if you've enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for coming out today, and we'll see you in the next Honey, I Joined a Cult video.